May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another QQ Audio podcast. I'm DC Puba of QQ Audio and QQ Archives. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. Hmm, so today we have the fifth clip from the Beginner's Mind Lecture, and I will play that for you, then I will read it, then I will play it for you again. Um, Is there anything exciting happening here? Oh, yes, there's a a very exciting event coming up on uh, Monday night. Uh, I am going to be a special guest uh, for the Monday Zen Luminaries series. Uh, It says, Register Monday Zen Luminaries series. Zen priest and writer David Chadwick in conversation with John Joseph Roshi. Monday, February 28th, PZI Zen Online, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, PZI is Pacific Zen Institute. Uh, If you go to pacificzen.com and just right there on the homepage, they have events and it'll sort of swing by and then you can stop it and... uh, read about it, uh, and uh, register and join us uh, for a very exciting, uh, maybe an hour and a half. Um, Okay, just wanted to throw that little ad in here. Look forward to seeing you there. Still a little down from the COVID, my uh, uh, once, uh, my my, uh, assistant, Gus Awan, said he was here today for a few hours and he said oh yeah people you know who've had covid uh you know it sometimes it takes them a little while to get their energy back i'm i could do anything now i just don't feel like uh uh doing things that take too much energy (laughs) uh but i'm getting a lot done um and uh, uh, last night, we walked to dinner, 20 minutes, and 20 minutes back, at least 20 minutes, with Doggett Bundy, because we went to a restaurant that is very dog-friendly. It's an Italian restaurant, and, you know, it's all open and everything, and, uh, God, they have cats in back and dogs, so it's all right for Bundy, but, you know, if she sees the cat, she'll dart at it. They don't really care. But it's funny, a, a cat did come by and she just watched it walk across. Maybe she's, she knew it wouldn't have been appropriate behavior. So let's listen to this piece uh, from Shunyu Suzuki, and then I'll read it, and then I'll play it again. Maybe I'll say something about it, maybe I won't. Oh, I'll say one thing. Um, uh, just to remind you uh, uh, the, that I've edited the coughs out of this, but I have not edited the spaces. Uh, I will do that for other purposes, but that's just sort of the rule for this run. So the most uh, difficult thing is to keep our uh, beginner's mind in our practice. So if you can keep uh, your uh, beginner's mind forever, you are Buddha. In this point, we should be, our practice should be 
concentrate. We should practice our way with beginner's mind always. And there's no need to have uh, deep uh, understanding of them. Even though you read uh, Zen literature, Uh, you have to uh, keep this beginner's mind and you have to read it with uh, fresh uh, mind. We shouldn't say, I know what is there. Or, uh, I have attained enlightenment. We should be always beginner. Uh, this is very important point and difficult. We should be very, very careful about uh, this point. So the most difficult thing is to keep our beginner's mind in our practice. So if you can keep your beginner's mind forever, you are Buddha. In this point, we should, our practice should be concentrated. We should practice our way with beginner's mind always. There is no need to have a deep understanding of Zen. Even though you read Zen literature, you have to keep this beginner's mind, and you have to read it with fresh mind. We shouldn't say, I know what is Zen, or I have attained enlightenment. We should always be a beginner. This is a very important point and difficult. We should be very, very careful about this point. So... The most uh, difficult thing is to keep our uh, beginner's mind in our practice. So if you can keep uh, your uh, beginner's mind Forever you are Buddha. In this point, we should be, our practice should be uh, concentrated. We should practice our way with beginner's mind always. And there's no need to have uh, deep uh, understanding of them. Even though you read uh, Zen literature, uh, you have to uh, keep this beginner's mind and you have to read it with uh, fresh uh, mind. We shouldn't say, I know what is Zen or uh, I have attained enlightenment. We should be always beginner. Uh, this is very important point and difficult. We should be very, very careful about uh, this point. I think that's pretty clear. Don't need any explanation, but look, I just want to say I love 
<laughs> I love this line. <laughs> there is no need to have a deep understanding of Zen. Yay, thank you. <laughs> uh, just keep uh, beginner's mind. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives. Coming to you from Sleepy Senor with Dog at Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Thank you.